Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. I have a little something different for you all today. So as you may or may not know, I spent my spring break in Athens, Greece. I'm still editing through all that footage. It's actually taking me a little bit longer than I thought. So I thought I'd get you something a little bit different, a little bit more comedic in the meantime. So while in Greece, I met up with my friend Sam. We stayed in an apartment and we decided to cook for you all one night. But not only that, we went to Facebook and Twitter and took your suggestions as to what accents or impersonations you wanted us to try. So we attempted that and it turned out pretty comedic. So sorry it's taken me so long to edit through all that other footage, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's start. First important ingredient is always wine. Not for cooking, just for consuming. Preparing the traditional meal of terrible sausage and pasta with pesto sauce and some other mystery ones. We have no idea where anything is in this kitchen. Kitchen towels recycle here. That's a garbage can. It's a bunch of plastic things. There's no pots. Nope, we found him. He doesn't know how to cook, guys. It's fun. Which one's my wine now? Here's that one. Okay. Step one, boil water. So this is going to be the boring part of the video where we boil water boil. Less planning, more cooking. Need cutting board. Cutting board. Uh, I am so confused. This was a bad idea. Okay. Milk was a bad idea. Onions! Isn't that like you do onions? You like slam them? Doesn't have you ever cooked before? I have cooked before, don't they? I think we should just start with Minnesota right now and just talk in a Minnesota accent. If you want Minnesota, they're gonna get Minnesota. <laughs> oh, so we're cooking with some onions, some mushrooms, and um, this perfect Greek. Akuzuakuz with country sausages. Alu. Alu. I don't know. No, 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 no. Get to the chopper. <laughs> I am going to continue cutting because you stop. I think that, like, that sounds more like Jorgen von Strangle from like the Fairly Odd Parents. Monsieur Mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. The August, the August, but our service to the case. I am not going to your neck, Sherry, and we provide the others. To Dijon, I can't peel an onion. How do you peel an onion? Just onion in the dishwasher. Really hard. Why don't you, uh, why don't you find another knife and uh, cut up the bread? Of course. You are honestly the worst person out in the kitchen. It's on me, right. Catch, catch. Oh, he missed. Bring the ding ding Irish. Bring the ding ding ding. Oh, it's the look of the Irish. Can't we just settle this over the pint? Guinness! Woohoo! The, the one accent I've been dreading the entire time. Well, I just stepped on the bread that you didn't eat and decided to leave on the floor. The John Madden and then the transition into John Madden as a Greek. Really, what's more important about John Madden is not doing the accent, but really just making needless comments about football. He ran that ball from one end of the field to the other to score a touchdown. This is sauce, according to Sam. Sauce. At Celsius, do we actually know what temperature to cook things at? Because I don't. I'd do it in Fahrenheit and probably burn down the house. Corky, what we have here is for sure some pesto bread. We're going to be making it in the oven. It's wild though. Make sure it doesn't bite you. There's two types of Germans, for those of you that don't know. There's the angry German, which is 99% of them, and then there's the friendly German who babysits your kids. The angry German is your very stereotypical German. I was just yelling. No, I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> but that's just a friendly German who babysits your kids. Yeah. He huffed and he puffed and he signs the eviction notice. You want to do a John Madden accent? You just say, he's running down the field and then da da da, and pour the sauce. John, Madden. this is probably the worst of the, all of them. I thought. Now John Madden is a Greek. John Madden is a Greek. Oh gosh, John Madden is a Greek. It's just Scottish. Uh, so that was John Madden. <laughs> Cause that's not gonna get any better. 
I want some chicken and I kind of... Yeah, I think, I think I've got it here. You do British at it and then you just start kind of mumbling at your words. I think it's what it is. It's a scoffs. Sounds to me. So, I put a gun to the back of his head and told him either either your brains or your signature on this paper. And I'm not feeling confused. We're just gonna go with Sam's on that one. Because I don't think the line's gonna get any better. Open a window. Uh, I don't think smoke detectors are a thing in Europe. I like Zoic's man. Totally making some pasta. Sounds like Blue from Blue's Clues. <laughs> I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now, it's still night in my whip pipe. Who wants a cannoli? Kickballs. Kickballs. I haven't played kickball in forever. No, that's not kickball. <laughs> no, we're not playing kickball. We're making kickballs. Both of my family broken, but still broken. But still broken. Follow the spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? The, the pasta is stuck to the bottom of the pan. Do you see this? You see that? See, I do the accents, which is good. He does the pasta, which is bad. My cooking is better than his accents. I hate you. <laughs> look at look at how much I got. I mean, he was so generous. So generous. It's proportional work. Mmm. It's so bad. You're not getting any more. Says I'm stopping. Never stopping. Closer. And we can't stop. Hold it here. And we won't stop. Can't you see us? We who own our life. Can't you see us? We who bought that life. So, and here's our meal. I think it turned out pretty well. Yes. Yay! So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I do have one more quick update for you all. So while in Greece, I actually bought a few things for you, my viewers. Yes, that's right, I bought things for you. I got a small keychain bottle opener from Greece, and I also got one of the, I don't know if you've ever seen them, they're like the blue eye things, it's very stereotypical, it's glass, it's supposed to keep away the evil, like, omens or something like that. So if you would like to win either of these items, just make sure you share this video on either Facebook or Twitter and just tag me in either of the posts. You have until March 27th to share this video, let me know about it, and I will randomly select two people that do so to win these two prizes. Unfortunately, I probably will not be mailing them from here as international shipping rates are ridiculous, but I will be mailing them as soon as I get home. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.